play. So, but like you said, we're trying to talk. We haven't been talking about postseason. We've been talking one game at a time. But uh, it's in the back of everybody's mind that we got to win so many games to uh, be bowl eligible. So we're just trying to go into every game and, and play like we are capable of. So we're just going to win games. I mean, with you needing five wins, is it a sense of urgency? We're too early to, to call it that. I mean, it's a sense of, a sense of urgency in the game, so, you know, I mean, everybody wants to go to the bowl game, but we just uh, focus on uh, each game that we play this week. What do you think about playing at Arrowhead? Uh, I think it'll be an honor to play at the NFL game. You know, a lot of great players played there, so I think it'll be fun. Have they told you anything special about it? Anything you need to watch for, or the field, or anything special? No, I just, we've been preparing regular, nothing special. You know, Do they tell you that K-State's got a real good record at Arrowhead? Oh, uh, you telling me that three, it's the first time? Three, <laughs> they're three and, three and one at Arrowhead. Oh, no, that's the first time I heard it. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's good. <laughs> Keith, what, what do you attribute to the yards per touch this, this season? <laughs> Uh, I, I know it's kind of it's kind of up there, but uh, you know every time I get out there, I try to uh, break one and uh, add a spark for the team. So you know I, I really haven't paid attention to it. You know I just every time I get out there, you know I'm thankful and I feel blessed to be out there because you know last week at this time I wasn't getting any carries. So yeah. every time I get out there, I try to you know do my best because I'm just thankful for what I get. Do you feel like at the time you're getting those yards? I mean. You get a sense, hey man, you know, good character. Uh, I don't know. It, I don't understand. Like, it, it feels crazy when I, I don't understand. I be getting like seven or eight yards of carry. When I think I do good when I break one for twenty-five or fifteen or something like that. That's when I understand it's a big carry. So I, I don't like in the course of the game. I don't, I don't be thinking about the seven or eight. It's just when I break a big one. Why isn't the, you think you're not getting more points just being behind the I mean, like you said, uh, well, he playing great. He doing good, so, you know, uh, they gave me 10 carries this game. The first game I got a lot of carries, so, you know, I'm going to just keep on waiting and be ready when they call my number. So, you know, I don't know. Well, it's got to be frustrating for you on some level, though. When you're done, you look at these stats, and you're like, oh, man, eight yards per carry, why aren't, why aren't I getting in? I mean, human nature, yeah, sometimes I'll be like, why am I getting there? But, you know, I think uh, it's going to get better and better each week, so, you know, I don't really worry about it. So then what's your philosophy after, you know, like the last game when you've been out of it for so long and then you come in and you're just trying to be an instant offense, offense kind of guy? Yeah, when they give me a chance, try to show why I should be able to get carries in the game. So are you happy then, like? I mean, I'm all, I mean, I'm all right with it right now, you know. I mean, I always want to get the ball, so, you know, it's just whatever good with offense. So if they think uh, I should get one carry, no carries, or, or ten carries, I'd be all right with it. Everything will work out. You've seen some good time with the team. Uh, time with special teams, though. Brandon was really saying very nice things about you, saying that you kind of sprung his first touchdown there. Yeah, just, you know, just being on the field, I just every time I get on the field, I need to do something to show that I, I need to get more playing time. So, you know, I, that's my first job, being on a kickoff return and punt. You know, I just have to uh, do that before I can get on offense. So I try to uh, uh, make my, make the best out of each time I'm on the field. Do, do you and all K-State players take a lot of pride in playing special teams? Yeah, because uh, special teams uh, open up the, uh, the gate for the, uh, the game, offense or defense. So it helps out, so we uh, take pride in it. I guess Coach was kind of saying that he, you know, makes a point that special teams is, if not as important, even maybe more important than the other so kind of all time. Has he said that to you guys? Yeah, because like uh, last week, you know, um, coming out in the first quarter and breaking one, then coming out in the second half, you know, uh, because the te uh, Texas Tech, you know, they thought they were still in the game and the bus went open like that, to, you know, they hurt them and they kind of break their back. So special teams would do a lot for the uh, team. So we feel like it's, it's really important for the first half. Hey, you guys are going to be traveling over 3,000 miles this season. When you take a look at that number, I mean, does that seem like a lot to you? Yeah, you got you try not you try not to think about it because uh, get caught up into the home field and uh, away. But uh, definitely when we play home, it's better because our fans, you know, they they real. They've been uh, real good this year and they've been faithful. So, you know, you just try not to think about it when you go on the road. But they they come to the away game, so it's good. It's yeah, how how important would it be to get a good showing here at Overhead? Uh, man, like I said, uh, it's important that the fans come because uh, we appreciate all their support and they help us out a lot. I don't know, uh, and we, we're thankful that they're grateful like that and they come to every game and uh, they're a big help for the team. Are you a lot more comfortable with your situation on the team right now? Last year you, you thought you didn't, you didn't know where you stood, it seemed like. 
Yeah, and I feel good because, you know, Daniel, big, talented back. He can do a lot of things. And for me to come in and sneak in behind the line, I, I feel like I'm in a good position uh, for my talent and uh, the things I can do. So I, I, I pretty much like it. So I think it's going to get better and better, like I said, every week. So uh, What are you impressed most about Daniel? I mean, uh, it, it is sad to see do everything, you know, being fast, and just stop on the dime, doing all that stuff. And sometimes he jump when he was supposed to, but that, all of it, it looked great out there. So just at his size, doing all the things he can do. Do you think you could define your role on this team? If you had to say it poetically, what would you say that is your role? Is? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. We still got a big, uh, a lot of games ahead of us, so we'll see. You know, uh, Okay, what would you like it to be? I mean, I'm, I'm uh, like I said, you know, uh, I'm, I'm doing good right now. They uh, giving me cares, so I'm just thankful because last year, like I said, I wasn't uh, getting cares around this time, and uh, you know, helping Daniel, you know, that's that's uh, that's a great job for me. You know, trying to be a leader and help him with little things because he still got a lot to go and he's gonna be a, a better player. So, to say I help him, you know. That, that's a good thing. Are you satisfied to be a backup though? Or? Oh no, never satisfied. <laughs> I, nah, I'm not satisfied to be a backup. Well, I don't want to get that impressed. You know, I work hard to, you know, to get on the field. But uh, just with uh, everything going right now, I'm thankful. That's all I'm saying. But I'd never be satisfied. I work hard to be try to be number one or even get more carries, like you're saying. So you know, I'd never be satisfied. It's also when you guys run a wildcat formation, that's something that Coach Snyder's done for a long time. Because some people credit it for kind of the way inventing it. So when you guys run it, or when you guys started doing practice, did he put the emphasis on it, or was he just kind of like, right, this week? I mean, we, we put it in, and uh, uh, it, it, uh, it works. And uh, it scares defense when we get out there. So I think uh, we'll, we'll use it more. Uh, whenever we use it, it's going to be uh, hard to stop. And, uh, uh, I don't think they put it in. It's just like everything in offense. You know, we put it in and work and rep it. So it's in our back pocket. We don't want to use it. But when they did it, they didn't come out until like, we got the super secret system. They just kind of said, hey, we got this part of our offense. Yeah, kind of. You know, this part of our offense. Like, one of the things that Daniel can do, you know, it's a, it's something added we can do to the uh, offense. And, you know, we just work on it and just use it when we can. Thanks. What is the reason? Or go ahead. Uh, one more quick question. Talk about your offensive line. Who would you like to give props to? Who's really doing a good job for you? Uh, all of them, pretty much. You know, oh, they, come on. Uh, come on. You got somebody you love it. Somebody give an extra pat on the back. Thanks for making that hole so wide for me. I don't, I don't have one. All of them do a good job. So, you know, I'm thankful for all of them because they open some big holes and we couldn't ask for more. And uh, the fullback, you know, Braden Wilson, you know, he's not a lineman, but he blocked like one. So, all those guys, they, they do a tremendous job of getting holes open for us, and I just appreciate them a lot.